highly recommend that at least one person in this party have previous experience with Portal Reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> what First would be the fun, fun of that? that? And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly. The show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vince Stone, joined every week by Jordan Svog and Pedro Mateus, and you, Shut Room Dynamic. Our powers combined, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. What's new? What's going on? Of course, we're going to talk about the Dolphin EMU thing, but first, an entire show. At least a Steam segment. So we are, uh, I, I want to say yay me. Pat on the back. I managed to get up and I saw the uh, reviews for... Uh, I enjoyed the Lord of the Rings game, the first one, and the second one was kind of fun. It's like, oh, uh, the Gollum, more to play around. And I read those reviews like, oh, shit, that's on my wish list. When are you psychopaths are going to end up getting that for me? And I got rid of it. I was happy. I was like, Phew. I don't have to worry about it. Then I watched <laughs> That game looks horrible. But then I did it. Yeah, I, I, was, I was a little worried about it just from like a concept level, but like... The execution is also kind of shit, it seems. So, yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, it genuinely looks like a, a, a PS3 era game. I, I didn't even know what to say about that, but it looks like Gollum is just taking a buttload of cocaine and like has gone on a bender for like he's, several weeks. He's seen better days, man. Uh, but hey, I don't have to worry about it. I'm glad about that. Last week, I was telling you, was, um, we did a show where I was using some software to kind of emulate some of the hardware back in the rack. We're back to using the hardware in the rack. We got about 80% there. It was uh, not quite as... It, it was too aggressive. I think the more I play with it, the more I'll, become, I'll, I'll be able to mimic what the compeller does. But speaking of the compeller, if you're going to do small electronics or big electronics, any type of electronics repair, Pedro, you know what flux is. Yes. I love the smell of it. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> smell burning flux. But I really like how it smells. <laughs> don't breathe this. Did you put down your cup of airplane glue? And you're like, hang on. Mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you got to shotgun it with some printer toner, right? Like just, <laughs> just do a line of that. So use flux if you're doing any type of soldering, which I did. And when I got this capeller, I got it uh, thanks to Jim at Guitar Center. Didn't know what it was. So of course, it was like $99 and... Okay, let's recap this thing. It's like from 1986, and it wasn't a ton. It was like 20, maybe 30 caps. It took an afternoon of me playing around. It was like a kitchen table project. It wasn't like take it out to the shed project. And got everything, did it, you know, put some 90% alcohol on it, and like brushed off the big nasties, plugged it in, and it worked. And maybe you've been there if you've ever repaired something. You're like, you know what? Good enough. Let's just leave it alone. Put the lid back on it. And that's where it sits. Some of those solders look a little ugly. It's good enough. It's fine. It's working. Don't. It's working. Don't, yeah. It doesn't don't matter. Mess with it. Like we did a good, like, you know, perfection. It's the, uh, what, what, what is the saying? Uh, be- better is the enemy of good yeah. enough. Yeah. Um, so, and it seemed like it was doing some VCA, like gain sticking, which it very well. So anyway, it got me to pull it out of the rack and like inspect all the capacitors. Here's the pro tip. Like two years later, um, Unclean flux under capacitors looks an awful lot like slightly leaky capacitors. Mm. So we were playing that game for like 40 minutes of checking every single thing. I was like, is that flux or one? And so I went back and cleaned all the thing. Anyway, that's clean your flux. That's the moral of my story. Jordan, you uh, got to hang out in a waiting room for a present. Yes. Yeah. You know, do, doing, doing the stuff. It's like, Oh, I have, I have some time off. I'm going to finally clean out my garage. Mm-hmm. And I knocked over a vase and I'm like, okay, time to pick up some broken glass. And then I sliced my finger open and I'm like, Oh, that glass is dirty. So I went to the doctor, got myself a tetanus booster. Oh, it's, it, was, it was, it was, it was a great thing. Cause I'm like, I, I, I get back to work from vacation. I'm like, Hey, I need to go get, get a tetanus booster from, from a, from a walk-in clinic. Can you guys like give me all the stuff I need to do so I can get it done right now? And then mm-hmm. they made me wait like three hours, and then I went to the walk-in clinic. <laughs> and which, 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 if you've ever been to one, you know there's like the point of like if you get there early, you can just be in and out. Mm-hmm. But beyond a certain point, like yeah, I was I was waiting there for like four fucking hours. Um, so I, I I got to tour around the area while, and yeah. I, I don't, did, I don't did, know. I, did, I had a they sandwich. They should give you like a, a little pass, like they give you at Disneyland. 
that like the- no. <laughs> And what, and what 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 was bullshit too? I'm like, oh yeah, so you're so you'll call me when when my turn is up. They're like, no. Mm-hmm. If we call you and you're not there, if you're if you're back, if you're the when we call the next person, uh, we'll we'll bring you in. Speaking of cocaine, though, I'm pretty sure that lady who gave me a shot was on cocaine because okay. she was going like that 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 clinic was blitzed and she was going like 300 miles a minute. Just like show me the cut, show me the cut. I'm like, what? Give me your hand, show me the cut. I'm like, blah, blah. <laughs> In and out, man. In yeah. and out. Uh, yeah, glass can be tricky. Like, normally when glass breaks, I'll just reach down and pick it up. Because, like, only once, and it wasn't even a bad, bad cut, but it was a surprising cut. Because, you know, you just reach down and, like, shovel yeah. up the glass. Uh, a friend of mine had dropped a jar of, uh, what do you call it? The spaghetti sauce, like the ragu stuff. Ragu, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ah, oh, there's, a, I reached down to get one piece of glass and I didn't see the other that was hidden. I'm like, ah, dang it. And I got ragu poisoning. Yeah. <laughs> it was just tragic. Pom- 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 Pomodoro poisoning. I, I, I craved garlic <laughs> bread for months. It was horrible. <laughs> Be glad you're not a vampire. Otherwise, you would have just burst into flames. Um, Pedro Mateus, uh, what's new with you? <laughs> There's a Warhammer 40k sale happening on Steam. And uh, much like many other people, I uh, I, I grabbed a game. It, it, it wasn't um, Bolt Gun, though I want to play that. Uh, it was um, um, Inquisitor, Martyr. That's uh, it, It's an RPG very much like um, Path of Exile Light? Diablo? Sort of? B- B- yeah, kind B- of Diablo 3-ish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, I've been playing it on the Steam Deck. It plays really, really well. Just lock it at 40 and it it's a very fun time, and the battery lasts for like three or four hours playing it, so it's very good. <laughs> Speaking <laughs> of Steam Decks, uh, that's going to be the first thing we talk about after we uh, increase the battery life of the horse. Yeah, we need to uh, hook up some sort of melt cell I don't know, I, I was hoping to pull some sort of orc <laughs> reference out of my ass, but it's not coming. It's the Steam! Analytics. Update of oh, the week. So, do you think maybe? Did you write that down? Yes. What, what did I write down again? Uh, I don't know. You should check Steam Overlay. Oh, no. <laughs> hush. Notes on your deck. You know what? Challenge notes, or I like to call it. In the latest beta client update, May 25th, uh, the initial support for the notes, you know, that's something that's been rolled into the desktop client. This is going to allow basic editing. Advanced formatting features are not currently available, so don't get too crazy with your. Uh, note taking and they also fixed an issue adding flat packs to non-steam shortcuts small mode is now matching small mode of the non-beta client and uh still completely wholly unable to scroll in the damn store on a 24 thread thread ripper well i mean this is the this is the steam deck beta client not the not the steam beta client so. don't care all right i'm mad about that and i'm taking my shot man all right. because i've read yeah. about this and I was like, I wonder if they've updated the beta client. And I tried it again. Uh, they have, because it's not doing the freezing anymore for me. So whatever they did, it worked. <laughs> I what, One thing I'm curious about, though, like, are the notes going to persist? Is that, like, scooped up via cloud save? What happened? Because, like, yes. A, what, 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 if, what if the game doesn't support cloud saves? Do your notes still persist? And B, like, yeah, I, I guess that's just, there's just question A. That, that's it. It, it sinks via cloud saves um so i guess if the game doesn't support it, your notes don't go either i'm not sure <laughs> what i am sure of is the talos principle is getting a sequel this was part of the uh sony state of play is that what it's called? yes yeah i think state of play is theirs yeah. i watched the whole thing and this was the only thing that was like oh man that's kind of neat because we need a new benchmark on linux oh bdsm uh, hey man <laughs> uh a thought provoking this this is more talus principle right that that's pretty much what i got from the takeaway now let's be honest there's no mention of operating systems at the bottom of this page yet and tbd <laughs> here's my biggest thing pro team pulled one on us with sirius m4 because mm-hmm. sirius m4 absolutely positively there's photographic evidence i don't know if you call it photographic there's screenshots let's say that of linux being a supported operating system until it launched and they went lol what we never said that. I don't think they said it earlier. They just pleaded ignorance on it. 
Yeah, no, I, yeah. they didn't say anything. And yeah, after Sam 4, I don't think they're going to do Vlitix version for this one. Well, but, this isn't uh, going to be on the Sirius engine, though. Yeah, there is that, yes. This but, is, this is uh, UE5? UE5, yeah. yeah. Oh, my main that, that, concern with the Telos principle specifically, which was my <laughs> the reason I stopped playing the first one, is how much of a chore some of the puzzles become, because you can see the solution, you just have to wait for things to line up so that you can actually do it, which is annoying. So uh, it remains to be seen if they fix that for this well, one. Whether, whether or not they click export or not, uh, Crow Team does like using Vulcan, so we can probably assume that it's going to run decently well under Wine. Probably. I yeah. mean, if you weren't around at the time, like when that was going around, yes, I know people who are three. Um, <laughs> it was kind of surprising we didn't get Sirius M4 because they had previously, you know, earlier that year released the uh, Sirius Sam uh, Fusion, yeah, that had yeah. Uh, everything everything and all of that was lax native and they were doing Linux updates and then disappeared. Yeah. And like, and to, and to Strider's point in chat. Yeah. Fusion started going real downhill after they stopped supporting it. Like it just mm -hmm. got worse and worse and worse and worse, which is, which is unfortunate because like, it was great to have all the serious Sam games, like aside from two, um, kind of just like all in, all in one. Right. And they were there. They were easy to play, easy to get up and running. And, uh, yeah. so I mean, you know, I hope, I'm be honest with you, I was not a huge fan of uh, the Talos Prince, but I didn't hate it. And I was like, this is a good de dessert island game. If I didn't have anything to do, you know, scratch your brains. But as you might notice, if you look at my playtime, I have a couple of hundred hours in the game. Why? Because that is my de facto benchmark engine. My de facto, if I'm doing a uh, review on a video encoder, that's what I cycle through. So I'd like an updated version of that pro team. <laughs> Give us the benchmarking game too. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know what? Can, can just we just get a can we get a source code dump of Serious Engine Four? Maybe that was, that was no, nice. no, 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 no. First, we're gonna get Vulcan support and uh, Unigen. Oh yes, that's 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 coming. coming Man, I can't wait! I can't wait Tell for Oil Rush to be playable. Um, <laughs> All they need to do is actually, I don't know, fix the game and make it fun. Tell us, principle the Oil Rush. <laughs> The oil rush experience is just, it's just greased up robots running around. Yep. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. So, uh, what do we got? Oh, another new game. Yes. yes. Uh, it's one not a Wisconsin that, death trip, but, uh, I saw it on the, uh, the new releases yesterday. It's like, Ooh, th there's still time. Let's add that to the notes right quick. Uh, it's yeah. Summer trip cruise. It's developed by, uh, Jus Caminati, uh, who is a Spanish game dev, um, YouTuber. He goes into like engines and how they work and how drift. to do certain things. <laughs> Tokyo Drift, <laughs> and it it is very very drifty. He's got a few videos on his channel where he's just drifting the boat around, and I have like all through that I had Dave Rogers Deja Vu playing in the back of my head. <laughs> Clearly, I've been in this place before. I, I like uh, this. I but, like to call this screenshot. I didn't hear no bell. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it is, uh, you, you have to maneuver a cruise through a level and you have to dodge the obstacles, avoid the currents, don't run into rocks or the other boats, uh, give the uh, people on board opportunity oh, look, to, the, uh, um, leaning tower of Pisa surrounded by, oh, so this takes place, uh, what, four years in the future, yeah. <laughs> give or take, yeah. 1196, 10% yeah, uh, off, 1299, uh, well, I, I'm, 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 just seeing, like, I'm just seeing Titanic simulator, right? Like. They're, they need to have a mode of like how how much how high can you rack up the casualties right because it's not just the people on the boat like can you knock over the leaning tower of pizza well this led to the real question and we talked about it a little bit in the pre-show uh when i saw this and i saw the drifting i said i i want to jump ramps in a cruise ship like a full <laughs> stack disney ocean going cruise ship for real like, what are the logistics? How fast do we need to get this thing going? How much weight do we need to drop? How big does this ramp need to be, and how far? Do, can at, we a, go? at a certain point, will air resistance disintegrate the boat I before want we can accelerate? The cruise ship catch air, man, and land. So, it'll, it'll just be like a molten, like slug of of metal by the end of it. I'm just saying. If you see a weird GoFundMe, <laughs> like, hey, I got an idea, guys. Maybe we can pitch it to Netflix or Discovery or somebody. Like, hear me yeah. out. 
this next bit is a game update of a game that Jordan and I had the experience Misfortune, of yeah. going all the way through. Yes, we went through the uh, multiplayer component of Portal 2. And yeah, there's a... Uh, for those of you who liked Portal and wanted more of it, there was a mod that uh, was put up by the community called Portal Reloaded. And it added a third portal that allowed you to travel 20 years forward in time and added some like time travel mechanics where you can like place boxes in one time frame and if you move them in another, then they disappear and there's like a whole bunch of interactions. So uh, these guys, they said, well, Portal has co-op abilities. We're gonna make Portal Reloaded a co-op mod now. And the way they do that is instead of having uh, two, four uh, movement portals, one player has the time portal and one player has the space portals. And then you just got to solve the puzzles accordingly. I am looking forward to this new series that I'm going to chain Ben to a desk and force him to play through. Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, as, I as, I, I, we, we, we promised to do that. Well, they plan to launch it this summer. If you want to play around with it, you can right now. Just uh, opt into the beta and select... Uh, the public testing branch, but they highly recommend that at least one person in this party have previous experience with Portal Reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> what Where's would the be the fun, fun of that? that? <laughs> there we go. There, there's your cold open tomorrow. Not even a little yeah. bit. <laughs> why, why take all the fun out of it? Uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll play around with that. I don't know if we'll play around with it before it's a uh, finished or i don't know I'd, I'd, I'd there's a play testing tab <laughs> on the website i'll, 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 I'll probably <laughs> wait for till ga my my experience trying to get the the portal the half-life 2 co-op thing running with like the dedicated server mm -hmm. now I'll, 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 I'll wait until someone has confirmed that that's working i still gotta finish playing through uh, black mesa mm. yes i do I, I i want to finish my road to zen but i don't want to bad enough to get out of the fuck box that i'm with, that with, I, with with your four bullets and two grenades and nine health or whatever two i, I got two revolver rounds that's it oh man <laughs> and i'm coming got, out of that a tunnel with just bullshit got a cheese in <laughs> i yeah yeah exactly i just hadn't been able to ring myself to do it never winter nights has been around for like over 20 years yeah yeah the 21 years give or take uh it didn't come out on linux until 2003 so 20 <laughs> years basically uh, but yeah, no, Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition, the new version, uh, the patch that we talked about that was in development a while back is now out proper. Uh, so all of the improvements and the new tune shader, uh, are available. The big one for me is the, um, <laughs> the increasing multi-classing limitations from three to eight, which you could do by editing the, um, rule, um, rule set 2DA file. I left the location in the show notes. If you want to go have a look, yeah, just open that file, search for multi-class, change it from three to eight, away you go. It'll work on all the local modules. For now, multiplayer, the people who own the server will need to make that change themselves, obviously. You're you're one step closer now to just like fully embodying pun pun in, in Neverwinter Nights. <laughs> I'm pretty sure someone has added like a Saruk Shaper prestige class from that from that one <laughs> Forgotten Realms book that allows uh, you to do the, the insane The player pun -pun resource stuff. consortium adds like 40 or something classes, so it's probably one of them. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I place like a jello cube? Yes. Yes, you can. Oh, yeah. Gelatinous cubes are the thing. <laughs> yeah. No, no. You, you can also just play as a cube of jello. You have no abilities <laughs> because you're just jello, but like, that, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm good the, with the, that. The game's not going to stop you from doing that. I wanted uh, to see some screenshots of this tune shader and like, well, you guys bring this up, but I don't see any screenshots. Yeah, that, that, that would be nice. I, I posted one on Discord, actually. <laughs> is, is, is it anime-tastic? It, it looks, it was the, the one that I commented about the new Borderlands game uh, being something that I could be totally into. Oh, okay, that's <laughs> what that was about. Ah, yeah, okay. it, it had the tune shader, it was, it was like the yeah, I, I can't, cartoony I can't tell. black outlines around the character. I can't tell the fucking difference. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real <laughs> yeah, with you. If you do uh, comments about Borderlands for me, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> See, and I thought I thought you were like, uh -huh, keep on the Borderlands. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking a, a, a couple levels too too advanced for uh, for that. Yeah, no, it was purely a pun on the uh, 
the uh, the screenshot and the so what we were saying is like this is not like egregious like this is not gonna look like a pixar neverwinter nights this is no, no. Was like <laughs> hey ray tracing's on i'm like where point at it no it, it oh, does yeah. uh, Dude. like the posterize effect <laughs> and it adds the black outlines around the characters no, no, no. Beam, beam dog beam dog gotta add some rtx to neverwinter nights man <laughs> <laughs> just, just... <laughs> listen you have the performance overhead this game already runs at like nine billion frames a second no no it doesn't <laughs> only on the menu once you get in game it struggles that engine's oh <laughs> that's why you need ray tracing to take advantage <laughs> so of all, all, of all i'm hearing is they have not open sourced this uh no. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how you. I mean, uh, there, there is there is an open source project that's trying to Zorius. Mm. Zorius, yes. Does that have ray tracing yet? <laughs> it Time could. to make us. <laughs> nah. Here's a game that's got an update that has got online multiplayer, but I think we probably should revisit it sometime, Jordan. Probably. This is a Hero Siege. Uh, they are. It's a point-and-click ARPG, similar in vain to uh, your Diablos or your Path of Exiles and whatnot. Uh, but they have a new update coming. 2.0 is coming down the pipe, and it is a big, chunky rework of quite a bit. A bunch of the back-end systems are getting uh, overhauled. Look for the Final Fantasy sword. Oh, yeah. Uh, all of the classes are getting redesigned to give them, like, unique abilities. The abilities themselves, currently, they're all, like, a bunch of passive buffs, but now they're going to change the paradigm so that it's all active powers with a couple of passive powers to buff them. Uh, entirely new environment art. They're breaking up servers into regions for, like, US, EU. Uh, yeah, what's going uh, on with that? They, they want you to, like, give them money. So uh, you get so uh, currently there is one server region right now, and when they when the other ones go live, you get a free migration to go what, to whatever server you prefer to go to. And then if you want to move your character afterwards, then you got to pay them. To what actually, do they have to do? Put in a fucking thumb drive and mail it. Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Real question, I, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, it, it, like the realm transfers or zone transfers or whatever are pretty common in MMOs. If you want to like move to a different region so like it's it's not like there's many people some... playing this <laughs> i doubt I, it I, I and that's the thing realistically will this affect anyone probably not but i'm reporting the news man what do you want there's I mean, like 599 500... yeah like there, there's 427 players currently uh in hero siege why are you segmenting the player base at uh, this time, after the game has been out for this long, why are you doing that? Do you want to kill pro it? Probably because multiplayer performance is shit, and you need to break it up into per region. Otherwise, it gets real bad. I don't know. Uh, uh, don't buy it on Steam going, Deck. Why, it why crashes every energy? five to thirty minutes. Look, <laughs> ASCII booty. That's the thing. The, the the multiplayer in this game, unless you are in a party with other players, you can't see them. It's it's the Diablo three style of multiplayer. Why is there so many butts? I don't. I cannot lie, man. I mean, ask yard. I don't. <laughs> but but it's like just butts. It's the same butt over and over again. <laughs> oh my! All right. So all right. No, oh my god, blah, 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 blah. Hang on. Yeah. Right. Uh, at six ninety nine to uh, get the uh, container for the um. Get, keep going. Keep uh, going. Uh, Three hundred yes, dollars of DLC. So okay. that, that might have something to do with it. No, yeah, okay, never mind. Lit. You know my question about segmenting the player base? Mm -hmm. Fuck you, I've already segmented the player base. <laughs> oh yeah, if you wanna if you wanna buy the classes, you gotta you know, unlock them. Sorry, it's, no, that was a stupid question of me, clearly. <laughs> I don't know. You can get the complete bundles and you can get a four pack for twenty four ninety nine. Well, yeah. I don't know. Hey, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. We we do we do have it in our library, so maybe maybe it's worth checking it out one more time. Coming up next, AMD has a new video card, and we are all very very excited about it. And also, hey. we finally get to talk about the big news this week. Uh, the the, the Linux game jam from itch.io, obviously. The news are coming, but the news clearly play second fiddle to. This little bit of a uh, an intermission in in between the two newsy segments, where we thank you, yes, you currently listening to us right now. If it weren't for you, we probably wouldn't hey, be Drew, doing you, this. You could like tie a cherry stem with your tongue. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> my tongue is a little too thick I, I, and I, I, I don't have that well, much no, no, uh, no, no, maneuverability no, 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 no. of it if you want if you want to find that out onlyfans.com slash the next gamecast but until then you got to tide yourself over by heading on over to patreon.com slash the next gamecast where you can sub to our uh, lovely lovely nonsense that we do here uh, and uh, get access to some cool stuff like our discord channel where we're basically pretty active the rest of the week you can chat with us we do game streams on uh, Tuesdays, it's Thursdays, and Fridays. It's always fun when somebody takes a day or two off of the Discord because you'll see like the replies and like, oh, somebody hasn't logged yeah. in in a day. It's like, wow, that's a lot to cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially if like you're getting added and there's like a bunch of responses, like, what is this from? Oh, mm. all the way up there. So uh, stay stay on top of that. Get in our Discord. You can also get in by subbing to us on Twitch, Twitch.tv slash Linux Gamecast. Link your accounts if it doesn't work. Go yell at Twitch, go yell at Patreon, go yell at Discord. We have zero control over it. Um, what, what what else? Uh, do early access videos for Ven's Interfacing Linux series. Um, we got uh, the R- custom RSS feeds for uh, the live and uncut shows. All sorts of good gravy stuff. We got a uh, store as well. Go to store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy some merch, buy some t-shirts, coffee cups, stickers, tote bags, you name it. Um, yeah, hell, whatever, whatever the hell else you can think of uh, put, using them as. If you want to turn some shirts into pants, I won't stop you. Uh, and uh, we got wish, we got wish stones as well. And here is where things get interesting. If you head on over to linuxgamecast.com, put your mouse over the support button. Uh, I have one. Jill has one. Pedro has one. Ben has one. And uh, Kai, Kai Jore, Kai Jore, he went a little, he went a little nuts. He got us a bunch of stuff off our wish lists. Uh, he got me a key- keyboard plus mouse switch. He got Pedro an electric screwdriver. He got Ben twenty four C's of <laughs> twenty four <C>? cents. <laughs> twenty four C's, baby. Aha! Yeah, for an interfacing Linux. Aha! Got it. Yeah, Damn it, we I are, meant to hold it upside down. There you go, Pedro. Uh, I can't yeah. go upside down. <laughs> it needs, needs to be like inverted too and like flashing. Uh, we, we got some Patreons we got to thank. Uh, Youth in Asia, uh, my favorite POD song, I guess. I don't know. And Graf <laughs> and uh, Nubbin for subbing on uh, Twitch. Uh, 36 months. Thanks a lot for that. We really Pretty appreciate cool. it. Pretty awesome. Thank you. Well, uh, if you want to come hang out with us, we do uh, gaming streams. Uh, I do Trek Mania on Tuesdays and Fridays. If you want to get into that, Good Crippling Addiction. It's a game from 2011. Trust me, your PC will be able to run it. If you like puzzle platforming, hop in our Discord. That's available for patrons and Twitch subs. Jordan is kind of doing variety night right now on Thursdays. Yeah, <laughs> until, until until we set it along like a new game, we're just kind of mm-hmm. we're just kind of trying stuff out. Maybe we'll do some Marmelo. We haven't done some Marmelo in a while. All right, right on, right on, and uh, yeah. Come say hi. Love to have you. Now. Let's get into it. And uh, Kyle Linux, you had an opportunity here to, for us to skirt the uh, <laughs> don't get banned off Twitch uh, policy. That's way too nice, man. That's way too nice. Well, what does it say? <laughs> it's just a token of thanks. Kaijure or formerly Kyle Linux. See? <laughs> and, and we got banned. Thanks a lot, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Can't Could be have positive been on way the internet. spicier. <laughs> right, AMD look, look. has released a card to put <laughs> something they, to shame. To, to put the 750 D, yes, <laughs> 8 gig 750 to, cha- to shame. Yes, they they kind of put themselves to shame because apparently they had sent out the cards to reviewers along with everything else, and the price was originally two ninety nine. It's not anymore. Now it's two sixty nine, and uh, the according to the reviews, uh, we have the one from Ars Technica linked in the show notes, and um, there were also level one techs actually did a test for it uh, with it on Linux, and apparently it I mean, works. Kind of cute. It's a little day one. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Well, it- you know, for two hundred and seventy dollars, it performs about how you'd expect nowadays, which is. Severely underperforming when compared to two hundred and seventy dollars a few years ago, but hey, it is uh, for ten eighty p. It's got three red fans. It's, of it course, doesn't it have does. a fucking it's power the new about it AMD explode. reference design. It's got the three little fins. Mm. And uh, yeah, no, it, for ten eighty p, it performs very, very well. But yeah, the uh, 
the price change from 299 to 269 i guess we know how much the 4060 is going to cost because amd probably know how much it is and they probably know just the 10 percent faster that the yeah. um 4060 so, is going to be compared to the 7600 so <laughs> yeah the 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 short version for all of these benchmarks at least from the uh, ars technica uh, article is that it is definitionally better than the 6600 and the 6650 but the 4060 t not, yeah the 4060 ti 8 gig just fucking curb stomps it in basically yep. every way shape or form with the thir- or the 4060 with the 3060 ti not co- coming up not too far behind uh, the one thing that I think shocked myself and Ven is that uh, eight gig A seven fifty like it's it's holding its own like actually which is mind you this is all for a DirectX twelve you it used to be once upon a time I guess now that I finished Strange Brigade we don't get that information anymore they would throw a Strange Brigade benchmark in just so that we could get some Vulcan numbers so that under Linux we get some like better idea as to how things actually run not so much these days. I don't know, man. Uh, my big takeaway from this is uh, that both the 7600 and the 4060 will trade blows, as Jordan said, with a 750. Like, some Make of them, the 750s are winning. I'm like, what? And definitely the 770. And that was the GPU that was made to compete against last generation low end offerings. You know, us as consumers, I brought this up on Wednesday at the beginning of the show. We're just in a bad spot. We're in a bad spot. <laughs> like at best, you could consider this card a side grade for somebody getting in. And you're like, well, do you want to buy the card? Do you just want to buy a Steam Deck? And I decided to do, you know, just kind of look around a little bit, take a look and see how much it would cost. Because the one thing I constantly saw with the 4060 Ti, it's like, oh man, that thing is trading blows with the 3060 Ti. I'm like, hmm. All right. And 4060 Ti is faster than the 7600. It, it just is. Yeah. Uh, and it costs it's significantly <laughs> more, right? <laughs> How much can you get that 3060 Ti, which the 4060 Ti is effectively, this, you know, speed-wise, just raw rasterization performance. Right now, used, you can get a 3060 Ti pretty much across the board for about 250 260 bucks. That's what they're but, selling but, for. Which, which is what they're charging the new uh, 7600 for. So, yeah, uh-huh. it's... Uh, yeah. 241 <laughs> in Canada. Yeah. 233. And these are all sold. These are sold prices. These are, you know, be, me being dumb on eBay. Yeah, like $300 or less. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's I, I, ma- pretty I good. imagine now, now that this, this is out there, these numbers are going to probably start crawling up a little bit. So... Uh, I- Maybe, yeah, I would say act now. I mean, my yeah. entire takeaway from this right now is if you're trying to decide it, there's that's quite a, quite a bit of a price delta between the, mm-hmm. you know, 7,600, but maybe you're like, I just need something. And maybe if you're somewhere in between there, the, yeah, the best card to buy right now, if you're building a budget system, I think value price performance wise is a 3060 Ti. None of mm-hmm. the new stuff that has come out, it's just yeah. underwhelming. Um, unless you really need AV1. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You absolutely need to test out the yeah. beta upstream to YouTube because Twitch isn't yeah. having it yet. Well, I, I mean, if you if you desperately need AV1, get a 750D. They're a lot cheaper. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good point. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the 8 gig 750 from Intel is like 200, 200 bucks, bucks yeah. right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Yeah, so, you, you know, given, given that, like, you're in the same ballpark, you're not losing out much. So let's talk about our favorite company. Nintendo. Oh. And we're going to bring up Nintendo. Rarely is it followed by positive news. So let's keep that tradition <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> alive and well. Dolphin on Steam has been indefinitely postponed. It is with much disappointment that we have to announce that the Dolphin on Steam release has been postponed. We were notified by Valve that Nintendo has issued a cease and desist Deceased? Yes, deceased. deceased. <laughs> it wasn't Seeking. just me. It's not just me. I did See? that too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> against Dolphin's Steam page. Uh, we've removed the Dolphin from the Steam uh, until the matter is settled. Currently investigating our options as more in-depth response in the future. We appreciate your patience in the meantime. I saw that. I'm like, hmm. Not beyond the realm of N- Nintendo, man. <laughs> you throw Nintendo yeah. in that equation. I was like, you know, 
And it's like followed by the Nintendo punched a puppy. I'm like, well, it is Nintendo. <laughs> there, there's that meme there. It's like, you know, it was like an Indonesian kid built his own Nintendo switch out of cardboard and Nintendo sent him a cease and desist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I went digging around. I'm like, let's, uh, let's see what's uh, going on here. So I found the uh, soon to be former accountant bookkeeper, if you will, for the Dolphin EMU project on Mastodon. And they write, you know, you may have seen or heard about the Dolphin Valve Nintendo thing from the amazing one. Unfortunately, pretty much everyone has been getting the legal details wrong, including Dolphin themselves on their blog, now fixed. Quick thread, personal summary of the situation. So uh, there'll be a link in the show notes to this. You can read through the entire thing yourself. But just to summarize it, uh, you know, they Valve was like, yo, we need to ask Nintendo if they're cool with us having dolphin on the store so they rank up nintendo and they're like so what do you think about this and nintendo's like we're nintendo the fuck do you think we think we we're gonna do the, what the, we there's do there's just the sound of a gun <laughs> clicking over the phone <laughs> like <laughs> well, i like well, does the question need to be asked and valve's like yeah <laughs> you're nintendo so they came back and they're like nintendo's not cool with us and we didn't think they were going to be and we don't want to be stuck in the middle of this bullshit so peace we're out yeah, and the, the the sad thing is, like, we, we can we can talk about like the the ethics and legality of emulation, uh, but uh, but Dolphin is in a bit of a tricky spot when it comes to this because unlike your Yuzus or your PCSX twos, uh, Dolphin does not require you to provide a BIOS or system keys because they use illegally distributed decryption keys. Now, what this actually ultimately means is like, oh my God, this is an illegally distributed number. How how awful that mm-hmm. the, the string of digits is now publicly available uh, in the re- in the Reddit thread. Someone actually po- uh, posted a, a handy little circumvention tool, a kit called the free speech flag, where you can just like represent the uh, the code as just like a binary as just like an image, mm-hmm. just like converted into binary. Be like, hey, here is this image that I can freely say is totally not something that you can plug into your Dolphin emulator, and it will make your games work all of a sudden. Um, but I, I, again, as long as long as Dolphin is implementing uh, the keys like this, they will be they will be at risk for uh, DMCA style retribution from Nintendo. So unfortunately, technically, Nintendo is in the right, but it is still dumb. It's fucking stupid. It's well, Nintendo. uh, Nintendo's argument would be the, Fuck they're you, bypassing. <laughs> yeah, click, click. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're yeah. they're attempting to bypass the uh, the DRM, the restrictions that they put in place to only allow those games to run on their hardware. But yep. as the uh, person says, the way that the Wii actually does the decryption in OS is widely open. It's not obfuscated in the least. You can, if you have the chops to do it, find out very easily how they did it. And that's how Dolphin actually got that key in the first place. Because the way that the Wii OS handles the but decryption is just out thanks, in the open. <laughs> thanks to the wonders of the DMCA, though, the fact that there is an encryption key in there just at all means that circumventing that in any way, shape, or form is a no-no. But is, it, is that... a enough of a protection that you can call it circumvention and not just reading what's on screen that that's the legal argument that could be presented when it comes down to like (laughs) encryption like i think that's like a whole section lined out where the answer is fucking yes we can yeah the 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 dmc like that that, that's why uh they're putting like encryption keys in hdmi cables right like is because it, it doesn't matter if it can be easily defeated the fact that the key is there means that it's illegal to circumvent it in any way circumvention being the key yeah. word there yeah yeah I'm not yeah, listening. Like, no, yeah, nobody's the, happy. The, the, nobody's the, like the, the law yeah, is bad. Like yeah, yeah. It's 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 a bad rule. Don't like no no one no one's saying otherwise. But that that is what the rule is. So, so. what do we think is going to happen though? Like, can Dolphin pull this mechanism out, and it'll be like one of the things where you get a you know Uncle Slappy's uh, key shack and. I, Actually, I mean, if they maybe. pull this out, uh, all that people who dump the ROMs need to do is to dump them unencrypted. Right now, Dolphin has the advantage of you can have the disc. Mm-hmm. with the encrypted game on it and you load it and it works if they if this becomes a problem then people will just start decrypting the roms mm. well again it's 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 just because we we know that nin- <laughs> we can probably have a good guess that nintendo's coming out with the gamecube classic in in like a couple of years and they're going to want you to pay a hundred dollars to play your favorite gamecube games on a little <laughs> box 
So you don't need the wiki to play the GameCube games, <laughs> or what? 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 Whatever. The the, the 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 point the point is this is what Nintendo does. They went after AM2R because they're releasing their own Metroid Two remake. They yeah like. This, this is just how Nintendo plays Nintendo their game. Nintendo is draconian about their IP, and you know you like fuck around and find out with Nintendo, but you already know what the find out part's going to be every yeah. single <laughs> time. And, and, and Nintendo is one of those things where like they're a legit hundred year old company; they can take a loss every year for like the next fifty years and still be functional. Like, yeah, they just they don't, they don't care. They don't care. Yeah. They, they are they are rooted. <sighs> That's just unfortunate. Like, and you know what? I understand. Like, where Valve is coming from, Valve's like, "This ain't our fight, man." Oh yeah, that, Valve doesn't <laughs> want to get dragged into another protracted court battle. You know what? I, 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 <laughs> it's I, like they're already getting sued in Europe, and they got sued in Australia. That's how you have uh, the um, refunds now. Uh, the, so oh, let's get sued in Japan too. <laughs> they're also trying to break into Japan, right? They want to play nice there. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. the Steam Deck yeah. Yeah. has a chance of being really popular in Japan. Uh, so. I mean, for all you know, you might have hit on something right there. You know, that might have been part of the call. Of like, hey, yeah. um, oh, did you see like the midnight release or whatever of the uh, Nvidia 40 series uh, at the Japan? Uh, it was uh, some retail, and they had like a big event for it, and one person showed up. <laughs> one guy outside. One guy. One, guy. <laughs> one person. Amazing. You love to see it. Uh, but, but, but like that guy went home with like six forty nineties. Man, like he's like <laughs> it, it was, it didn't get his one card, and he was like, "Yay, maybe you know somebody could like help back uh, the dolphin project. Let's, like see see if they could fight this out. You know, like I, I was thinking like a company possibly that is like a company that has been going out of their way to look out." for developers and looking out for the gamers, the company that has like it, your best interest in heart could mm -hmm. help the dolphin project. And yes, I'm talking about Epic games. Yeah. Or, or so, some, some of the, some other free speech absolutists can, you know, help dolphin pay for no, I, I'm talking about like Epic team Sweeney, because how much, how much lip service are we getting for like, <laughs> Hey man, we're, we're trying to help out gamers and we're doing this for you by locking games behind our yeah, store. Th yeah. That, that, that's been his spiel the whole time. And it's been proven that it's only helping him and his company and the, the, the developers, the, the, the monkey's <laughs> the paw closes, people. and and dolphin <laughs> becomes clone close source and an epic exclusive. <laughs> your, wish, your wish has been granted. Epic exclusive for a year is close source. Doesn't work on Linux anymore. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You ev fucking evil Shenron over here now requires a valid Windows 11 license. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> You, no, you you can only play it in Fortnite, so you have to launch Fortnite, and then <laughs> and then you can play your Wii games. Don't tempt them. Uh, we do have some good news, though. We got our twenty twenty three game jam getting ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's actually uh, started already. The uh, itch that I owe Linux game jam for twenty twenty three is up and running. The theme is just that it needs to run on Linux. Uh, they. They say, so what's the end date? Uh, must be submitted to the official itch.io game jam page before the end of June the 5th. And there's already a couple of entries. Uh, submitted so far, we have NC Alien Attack Pico and Devious Licks. Hmm. Kinky. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, yeah. They, they, you have well, we know the one I'm clicking on, so. <laughs> yeah, um, you, you got about two weeks to get your game done. Uh, if you don't, if you do work better under constraints, uh, they do have some suggested prompts such as orange, fractal, conduit, occupy, and fire. Uh, and as always, uh, needs to have a Linux version. Doesn't have to be open source. Uh, it's a but that's all. View. <laughs> Wait, is, is that Wimpy's game? <laughs> S W O R F I S H. <laughs> Boo! It wasn't uh, swordfish. It's a sham. <laughs> Yeah, yeah no, uh, I was going to say one of the uh, the games, uh, Ants the Alien Attack, is made by Wimpy. So uh, click yeah. on it, click on it, Pedro. <laughs> if you know the password or Wimpy, let us know what the password is. Uh, so what we need to do is like strap Wimpy to a chair, like Casino Royale style, and like cut the bottom out, <laughs> get him to give us the password. <laughs> what? Uh, and be like, ah, oh, I got you to scratch my nuts. <laughs> yeah, I was like, good. Here's another one. A little to the left. All right. Go play with that. Um, a little bit of a feel-good story here to close things out for the news. Yeah, we we've been we've been closing off the news segment with a couple feel-good stories uh, the past couple weeks. Christoph Nakazawa, formerly of Facebook and Stripe, decided that he is burnt out on being a corporate chill, 
and wants to start a game company so that he doesn't regret his life choices when he's old and is close to death. Not a bad reason to do a thing. Uh, so uh, they are building a game called Athena Crisis. It is a Advance Wars type strategy game with some ranked online multiplayer as well. The stack's entirely done in JavaScript because this guy is a web dev. But, you know, making a game in JavaScript is actually kind of a smart play in 2023 because it can run on basically everything that can run a browser. I mean, so yeah, basically you, everything. I, there's applications written with mm -hmm. us. Yep, pretty much. So, um, yeah, that's 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 pretty neat. Um the uh, all of the all of the backend engine stuff is entirely open source. There are links to the GitHub pages on uh, through the link. The links to all this is in our show notes. So much clicking, but yeah, it's it's, it's nice to see um, that like so, someone's like, hey, I want to make some games. I want to make I want to do it with open source tooling, and I want to make it web first. Mm -hmm. uh, and so yeah, it seems like good a smart on, good on you, Christoph. Uh, I would have. What was uh, what game is this reminding me of that we did like last year, a year before? Uh, but the kaijus. Oh, uh, oh, into the breach. Into the breach. Yeah, yeah getting some vibes like that for audio <laughs> listeners. When you think of like the visual style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very, very, very advanced warzy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I heard when I started reading the uh, the description, it's like, oh, the first uh, Nakazawa Tech, uh, the first game Nakazawa Tech is creating is Athena Crisis, modern retro turn based uh, game with beautiful 2D pixel art. Mm hmm. Likable characters. <laughs> that. I mean, so that's the that's, that's that's typo. Tonight. It's it's lickable characters. Lickable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah, no. There is no I. So yeah, it is lickable characters. But yeah, no. Don't describe your own characters as likable. That's just giving assholes like me uh, ammunition. But no, seriously. Best of luck. That uh, you got out from under the clutches of Zuck. So go out there and kick ass. Yeah. We gotta sign up for early access. How do we do that? I'm clicking on it. Better not be a password. <laughs> <laughs> and enter the password. What's the password? Ah! Uh, coming to zero, early zero, access zero, on zero, iOS, Windows, zero. Mac OS, and Android. Where's but, your Linux, bro? Don't know. And Android is Linux, man. <laughs> Almost had it all the way down. Oh, <laughs> done goofed right at the end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, nah, man, you can run it on WSL. You you you, you can run it in Chrome. Like <laughs> let's, let's be real. Like, right. Good times. <laughs> yeah. So coming up next, uh, well, we're 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 gonna we're gonna roll around on our treads and just be very very lonely because we're throwing chairs at we tanks. We. Welcome back to the cheer acquisition. Uh, that's where we take a game, we run it on a bunch of different Linux distributions, and then we run it over with tanks! Well, this week we're throwing chairs at tanks. Uh, we tanks, done by Studio Kit, developed on the Unity engine, you can pick it up for about $9.99 US. And it is, welcome to We Tanks, a cute, uh, control a cute tank, destroy hundreds of enemies across so maps and modes. Ex with explosive battles and endless fun, gear up and show those enemies who's boss. Gotta thank Studio Kit for sending us some keys over thank Curator you. Connect. Uh, and I guess let's get into the review proper, Ven. Uh, Thanks for like Burr, man. Burr. Fine. <laughs> so Fine. I, I, I guess, yeah, two chairs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how does it run over here on Debian testing? Well, it runs a treat. I'm on a Threadripper 1920X. Uh, I got a 30, 60, 12 gig. Not much to report here. Until... You change the resolution to something other than Dinity B. And it kind of falls off the cliff just a little bit performance wise. Uh, it was struggling to hit 60 in the menu at 1440p. But once you get in the game proper, even at 2160p, you can get about uh, 100, 120 FPS. Uh, and so that's with your GPU at 100%, though. Uh, did either of you run into that, that intro loading screen right at the beginning? Is a chuggy, spastic oh, yeah. experience, isn't it? A little it? bit. Yes, it is. That's why that dry recording was made at 1080p. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's completely fair. Now, navigating said menu, though, with a controller can be challenging. There's some uh, gotchas in there where um, up is down, left is right, and uh, confusion is to be had in swapping back to the keyboard and mouse using your mouse for input. Sometimes that cursor just fucks off, for lack of a better word. However, the graphics are right for what it is, and it's got a nice, cheerful little soundtrack. It does. What's the fun? Did I enjoy it? Well, I'm not alone, but how many of you visited Tanky Town? Turns out Jordan took a trip to Tanky Town as well. That was neat. 
how do you find Tanky Town? It's not obvious how to get there, but I ran across whatever the hell Tanky Town's supposed to be or whatever it's going to become. What I was looking at how to get into first person tank mode, because you don't just play this top down. No, you can play this in first person. I was like, that would be neat. Maybe we'll try that in the after show. Turns out first person tank modes hidden behind unlocking an achievement. Shit like that does not encourage people to play your game. Quite the opposite. Now, I did play through the first few levels in Forever Alone Moon, played the campaign with adult difficulty. The only one higher than that was like, what, Senior Citizen or Grandpa or something? Grandpa. Like Grandpa. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Nothing groundbreaking. You know, at least the AI is not completely pants on heads. That was nice. So it was a little bit challenging. Got killed to death. Had to do some like regular, ordinary human things. I'm like, oh, I need to get up. Gotta go take care of some things. I came back to continue my game because I was like, hey, this game's got checkpoints. Not a problem. Turns out checkpoints are dispersed in intervals of 10. And I'll give you just a wild guess. A wild guess how many stages I'd completed. It's not an even number. That <laughs> Didn't you an, just say nine? <laughs> might have just said nine. <laughs> Which nine, would have been nine, really nine. nice to have a little like, hey, fucko, one more and I save. <laughs> Or, or just being able to, you know, save and like get up and go somewhere else. Well, it wasn't even that. I wanted to play some more, but I didn't want to go. I didn't want to trudge through like because the first nine levels are just introductory stuff. I'm like, I don't want to go through that again. Uh, anyway, uh, I rolled around in survival mode, waves of tanks, pew pew pew. It's exactly what you would expect it to be. So, at the end of the day, we played multiplayer deathmatch and team battle last week in the after shows, and then had a fucking blast it was a great time so here's where we're at if you get about 40 bucks to pick yourself up a copy and a couple of friends a couple of copies good times it's there it's an entertaining game you know it's like nine bucks a pop however you need to really keep this in mind and i'll put a point on it at 4 p.m on a saturday on the east coast there nobody was playing like there was no servers there was no active players so I can't recommend the game if you're just looking for something to play by yourself. You're not going to get your entertainment. You might get your 999 entertainment, but that pales in comparison to playing it with a bunch of people. Um, I think it's safe to say we all had a good time playing it in the after shows, didn't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, maybe address some of those performance issues, because sometimes when you fart out the Linux build in Unity, uh, it's not the greatest right out of the box. But yeah, at the end of the day, Gentlemen, give it a solid three. I yeah, know it was uh, came kind of came out of nowhere and positively surprised. But over here on the Ryzen Seven Fifty Eight Hundred X Three D and the Radeon RX Sixty Seven Hundred X, he has too many numbers. Uh, it launched out of the box on the desktop and on the uh, Steam Deck. Uh, it has a frame limiter. But it seems to actually slow down the engine itself, because if you set the frame limit to 60, it doesn't hold 60. It seems to go down to 40 and then comes right back up to 60. And then set it down to 240, to 40, you scrub. Yeah, that, that's the <laughs> I ended up having to do that because of the, uh, the recording. It's like, okay, I just need to get this recorded so that it's okay and people watching the video version can see it. So let's just 1080p, 240. Let's go. Uh, you can use Gamescope or uh, Mango HUD to limit the FERPs instead, which does work very, very well. So do that. Uh, doesn't seem to be able to. Um, I mean, not that it matters much, but the uh, the physics don't really seem to be tied to the frame rate, which is very good. Uh, but yeah, the controllers work out of the box and you can rebind all of the uh, buttons and all of the keys. So that's good. The fun. Well, the, the proverbial meat on this, these particular tank-shaped potatoes is very much the multiplayer. With that said, there's enough single-player here to get you to be that person in the multiplayer games. Uh, the one who knows all the ins and outs, and uh, but somehow manages to lose track of his own bouncy shots and wrecks themselves by shooting at a wall, and then the shot bouncing back, and boof. Uh, the, uh, it is chaos in a teeny tiny little wooden box. And I actually enjoy lending the extremely unlikely trick shots from across the map. If you have, um, or if you prefer the, uh, forever alone mode, 
like myself, uh, <laughs> it will be a bit more limited. But if you have a group of people to play games with regularly, then Wii Tanks is a solid recommendation. If I had one complaint is that it needs more modes. Not saying you need the soccer mode specifically, but something like that and the usual suspects, your capture the flags or an adventure mode where you go across a larger map in teeny tiny little missions. Uh, it, I, there's tick, a lot tank, of potential so. for growth here. Uh, so yeah, three chairs. Shoots and tanks. Shoots and splatters. Yeah. So on Shoot Fedora 37, 37, bit with the R930 and X and GTX 1080i launched out of the box. I just played it in a 1080p window. Cause that's how I set it up when we played it last week. And I didn't muck around with much of the settings. Uh, does hold 60 at UHD controller works out of the box. Everything is pretty sanely mapped. However, if you want to play couch co-op, uh, and you are having your USB controllers go through a USB hub, it does that steam input thing where it duplicates the P1 controls on P2, uh, even though P2 works perfectly fine. And that's, that's just not good. If you want to actually play with some fellow humans, which <clears throat> I mean, considering it supports uh, four people locally and up to 16 people online, maybe that's the thing you want to do. I don't know. Um, Fun wise, as mentioned before, you you need you need people to play this game with. The fun is de proportionally determined by the number of people you have in the room. As mentioned, it supports up to sixteen people online, so there's some pretty good chaos you can get going, especially without the ricocheting bullets that are the same color. So you don't know if that bullet you shot is coming to you or if that's someone else's bullet coming to you. Either way, you're probably gonna explode. Uh, it's good fun though. Forever Loud Moan is a bit of a saddard story. There's a series of challenges. There's a series of challenges you got to do, and every 10 gives you a checkpoint. Otherwise, you got to start from the last checkpoint, as Ben mentioned. And that's kind of it. There are workshop levels that can give you a bit more variety, but honestly, that not honestly not that much. It is a live service style game, though. So it wants you to log on daily and unlock stuff as you go. It's not super obnoxious. You get cosmetics and level editor stuff. But they also lock a bunch of like other stuff, like first person mode, like a bunch of the level creator stuff behind progression. And like the progression isn't isn't that easy, right? Like you got you got to work for it. Um, so I, I kind of wish they opened that stuff up like immediately so you could start using it or at least like make it all available in multiplayer and not make you have to like grind through single player or like get a bunch of XP and multiplayer matches to unlock all that stuff. Um I don't know, like as a single player experience, it's very, very lacking, but you don't buy this game for the single player experience. You buy it to shoot bullets at 16 of your friends and then cry havoc when you get shot by your own bullet. I'll give it three cheers for, for what it is for the for the actual like tournament play. It's fun. It's good stuff. Yeah, I had a good time with it. I was uh, I had my pinky toes crossed when I went to multiplayer. I was like, please be an active, you know, or at least like a core group of people playing it you know because mm -hmm. like you you find these games like well you know there's that one server that's always populated even though <laughs> you know the server i'm talking about you've seen yes. you know phil game in here and uh it, it just wasn't there in multiplayer you're 100 right it, the joy for this game is in uh you know a room of friends or you know even if it's co-op at home or online that's where it's at and it's a good time and it's reasonably priced for that so i just really want to, you want to keep that in mind is like if you're going to be buying this you at least want to pick up another copy for someone mm -hmm. to murder it with or maybe maybe if this goes on sale tell your friends like hey this game is really good and it's a buck go get it yeah yeah <laughs> no th th this game needs more people playing it and it needs the dev needs to get a lot more money so you can introduce more different game modes more different how about yes okay. <laughs> more comma different game modes <laughs> there it's we've added like eight more game modes but it's all just they're all just deathmatch <laughs> variations on deathmatch works too but yeah no the, just more variety oh, man, that, for okay there's the one mode i want you to just rip off wholesale from uh the tank game that we play uh shell shock shell shock juggernaut Ah. Yeah, <laughs> one big tank against yeah. a bunch of they, they, bunchy little tanks. They do have tanks. bosses. They they do have the facilities <laughs> yeah. to do this because you do you do have like tanks with actual health bars that don't die after one hit. So, yeah, there, there, there's definitely potential, and the fact that like there is workshop uh, integration means that there's not going to be any shortage of content. Assuming as long as there are fans of this game. So, yep. Yeah, <laughs> also, if you can make the tank, if you do make the tank jump at any point, uh, use the Doom Sun. <laughs> 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 
<gasps> yes. <gasps> All right. Well, <laughs> let's jump on out of here. Coming up next, he didn't send us little notes with his Amazon gift, so he sent us an email. Find out what in the hate mail. I don't know about you, but I am getting kind of hungry. Uh, if you'd I'm like hungry. to throw your suggestions as to what we should stuff our faces with in the intermissions Spaghetti. that we have between the uh, segments, you can do so very, very easily. Um, <laughs> is the uh, voice message option on Spotify still a thing? I don't think yes. anyone's taking us up on it. <laughs> Did you see that Big Mac burrito I posted? Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it yeah. was a Whopper burrito. Whopper. Yeah, Whopper. Yeah, uh, yeah, which, uh, admittedly, I want to try, but Burger King here doesn't freaking have it. If Burger uh-huh. King has a Whopperito in your area and you've had a chance to try it, go to our contact page on LilyScamecast.com and uh, let us know how it goes. There's some caveats at the top, but that shouldn't apply to you. Just don't include any links. You're not going to read That's them it. anyway, let's be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, probably, not. probably not. Leave us a comment on YouTube. Leave us a comment on Patreon posts. Uh, or at reply us in Discord. That's where we're at, hanging out, doing the thing. That's right. Mm-hmm. So we got a big chunky one. I don't know exactly where to put this, but it was sent in through the hate mail. So mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, man, I want to reward good behavior because I'm very grateful. Now, uh, if you probably skipped over it when we were gushing and saying all the cool things about our new patrons we got this week. And um, Jory had sent us presents. 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 It was like Christmas time and whatever the <laughs> fuck month this is. May. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know. So <laughs> I had to look. Uh, so <laughs> here it is. It says, Yo, well, GC, it has been a while since I got an opportunity some time ago to earn a little cash doing some Linux hyphen Y. Linux Y. Linux E things. Yeah, Linux, yeah, I guess <laughs> that works. Grammatically correct things, comma. Then another opportunity to help some folks in my community configure their AV equipment for live streaming, reggae, dance hall, mixing sessions. Pretty sure much of this is a result from inspiration from you guys over the years. So I wanted to pay it forward. That said, uh uh-oh, here comes some, uh, I just wanted to, (laughs) oh, okay. Usually when people say that said, it's not followed by anything nice. Hey, I just wanted to give you thanks for the interface in Linux videos and infotainment from LGC and LWDW. Also, thanks for the hospitality. Hearing scale 18x, gift messages only seem to work for two of you on Amazon. So enjoy this grouped gift message. Give thanks. Oh, formally. Artist formally. Thank you. As KY, <laughs> KY Linux. Thank you, Kyle Linux. Kentucky <laughs> Linux. Oh, <laughs> the other Kyle Linux, uh, because apparently yeah, there's no, more I, than one. That's why he changes his name. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, I, I I got an opportunity to hang out with uh, Kai Jore at uh, the aforementioned Scale 18X. He's a good guy. So it's, thank you. Thank you very much for the presence. Thanks I think very much for your continued support. You get a chance to pop in on the show. Um, yes. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we got to wrinkle some people in. That was a good, interesting mm-hmm. time. Yeah, man. Um, I'm glad, hopefully, you were putting uh, audio, video stuff out there and helping people out man that's what it's all about mm-hmm. you know you learn some and stuff. thank you seriously thank you very much <laughs> play it forward get pedro a drill <laughs> doesn't have enough torque for a drill but uh it's 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 a very useful it, uh, it's it, already it will been further put to use. enable pedro to screw up um oh yeah <laughs> criminal <repeatedly>. behavior man. <laughs> in I mean, and out <laughs> you know they see the lock picks they see the not totally not a drill because pedro said it wasn't um, yeah, and, and the, ele- again, the electric doesn't scooter, have enough he's going, he's going door to door, <laughs> breaking into people's houses. The white striped shirt with a little black mask. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I think I, I think he dresses like the Hamburglar when he goes out and robs houses. <laughs> Bullshit! He dresses like Grimace. Robble, robble. <laughs> yes, let me just put on my uh, giant purple first suit. <laughs> Um, no, dude, see, I never understood that. People are like, oh, they, they, you know, McDonald's is like slowly over the years retired Ronald McDonald because clown no like. And uh, yeah, <laughs> clown's like, a little bit scary. Clowns are scary. And I'm thing. like, the fuck? You y'all, y'all bitch just seen Mayor McCheese? What the fuck? You worried about the clown? <laughs> this burger is going to take a bite out of like, you, man. 
me, me and that cloud and like share anatomy and shit. We're going after the fucking talking hamburger, man. That's the one we got problems with. Maybe the purple <laughs> motherfucker too. Uh, yeah, and like th this is the one time I fucking remember what Grimace is because it's always like, well, what's Grimace? He's he's the fucking taste bud. That's what he's supposed to be. Really? Yes. Is that? Yeah, that, that's, that's 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 legit. That's we we've looked it up. We probably and this, have. This, this is the one time I remember when we've looked it up. Yeah, he's a taste. Taste bud's purple. Uh, uh. <laughs> give me that. I, I, I don't right. know, Pedro. <laughs> give us more Agao faces. Maybe we'll find out. Oh man! Oh. <laughs> there. Subscribe to onlyfans.com slash first <laughs> You really got to open that up. No, there, there are like, there's like non-porn stuff on OnlyFans, like straight I mean, up. Listen, man, I'm out of willpower. <laughs> Every time Pedro does that, I just think about like the effects library I have in DaVinci Resolve to <laughs> high no, quality. Like, uh, I just want like a Batman Properly like lighted. rotating head like transition of that like <laughs> dilly, 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 dilly. a fish pee <laughs> burritos. I mean that's why Slathering that's why he makes Pedro. his face. <laughs> makes that I face. I kind of want a want burrito. I do. <laughs> is that uh, is that still currently made? I found a Wikipedia page about it. I mean, I guess yeah. You no, uh, buy, uh, it was introduced in 2015, and they canceled it. Uh, 2017 you, you can, or 2018? You can just like Damn, buy, buy a Whopper and like cut yeah, it into thirds sauce, and some right. tortillas. Jordan, Jordan special sauce. Yeah, it didn't have, um, didn't have the Whopper ketchup sauce and the mayo. It, it used the queso sauce that Burger King has. We, you know, stay away from Jordan's house with this knockoff ass Whopper burrito. <laughs> With my yeah, you know yeah, with with my with my knockoff queso, I'm not going to tell you what's in the special sauce. You already know what's in the special sauce. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it a night. Before we do that, we're going to roll some credits. But before we do that, we got to cue the music. You can always find us here on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Linux Teamcast. Come watch us live 8:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let us get all of your face, chest, and neck. It is a lovely experience. It's better than a fish pee burrito. If you want to get in touch with me during the week, at Vin Stone on Twitter, I'm at Vin on our federated timeline, which is mass.linuxgamecast.com. You can add Reply Me in Discord, at Reply Me in IRC, even Twitch. We got all that linked together for our live shows. Send an email, say hi, say goodbye, say sideways. I don't know why you say sideways, but you know what? I'd say sideways back to you because I would be like scared you were going to muck me. I'm your favorite dipping sauce. You can stick whatever you want into me by following me on Twitter at the Burning Fool on Mastodon at Frojo.Mastodon.LinuxTeamCast.com and at Twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. There's vaguely sexual and then there's whatever the hell just came out of Jordan's mouth. Uh, if you... Overtly <laughs> sexual, Pedro. Overtly. <laughs> Yes, very much so. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at unaccounted for. Uh, that's uh, currently the only social network I pay any attention to. So for as long as it's there, then I'll 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 stick around. I think. <laughs> Time for some credits. Boom. There you go. There's Jordan's face. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want it. <laughs> Well, we got to thank all of the lovely people who, despite my, North my Ranger, best efforts, that's, hey, man, you got to be down with the OSP. Yeah, yeah. D d despite my despite <laughs> my efforts, we got to thank our advisors, Omegas and Arthur and our executive producers, Scott Michaud, Barb Ramp, Tom Cass, Mike G, Drummer, Kaku Pebble, Tamaj, Hakim, David, and Eshep, and our little Nikki fans, Super Desto, Empty, and Eggy, and Blast Me. Yeah. I the was full of liquid. <laughs> Rideau, Rider X, Machina, Trudgy, Veritanu, Justin, Nubbin, Darkwing, System D, Danzing Joe, Ogi One, and Krylo. Sea monsters. They're there. Going away. Oh, no. <laughs> Krylo. And the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Joe, Benjamin, Doom, like Doom, 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 Stephen B, Stephen Bill, Khan, Dirty Dean, Ed Mac. I need Rob's a comment. I'll get Game one there next week. No, I won't. I'll forget. <laughs> Dodger, Zathras. Monica. There's Kaidra. Yeah, it's off. Euthanasia in at six. Look at that. I even get him in. Fine upstanding yeah. animals. Carl, Mike, Arthurian, Linux New, Aldeus, Noctilus, John, Eshep, Gamatron, Unoid, DSN Joe, Aromatic Dev, and Space. Kaidra. Oh. Yay. And now back <laughs> on the wall of fuck, which means fine upstanding animals. You filthy, filthy fucker. Degenerates. 
What is <laughs> you your? filthy, filthy fuckers. Yes. <laughs> Dead fire, fire everyone. Yeah. We'll see you next week. Five dudes. <laughs>